What's going on, fine people of YouTube? Welcome back to the next part in the Rick and Morty app series. In the last one, we fixed and hooked up tapping on search results. And in this one, we are going to handle this spinner bug when we are paginating, aka scrolling down for locations. The problem here is that it shouldn't show up when we don't have any more results, but it in fact is. Before we fix it, make sure you absolutely destroy that like button down below. It helps out so much. Throw a rocket emoji in the comments if you're still with me, and let's continue. So what I actually think I did here, and let me actually rerun the app so y'all can see what I'm talking about, is I think my logic is backwards in the code, where if I scroll down, you'll notice when we actually had more results to show, um, it's a little slow, uh, or rather it's a little fast, so it's kind of hard to see, we're actually not even showing the spinner. So it looks like my logic is backwards such that if I have results to load, it's not showing it, and when I don't have results to load, it's showing it. So this should go in um, the location view. I believe that's where this code is located. So I'm gonna do Command Shift O and search for rm location view dot swift, and we're using a table view here. So we should have some function along the lines of show loading indicator, and I'm lucky because it showed up right in front of my face. So there it indeed is. So here we're saying um, to show this, and let's see what is going on. So once we scroll down, we got this scroll view did scroll function, and we have should show load more indicator. Well, this must be being called because otherwise we wouldn't even continue down and um, actually make the call to load more results. So that cannot be the issue. What we're actually doing is we're saying do this on the main queue async. So we're saying if the offset is greater than, so the scroll offset vertically is greater than the total content height minus total scroll view fixed height minus 120. So something fishy must be going on with that. And then what we do is we say, hey, view model, fetch more results. So I'm gonna comment out that fetch more results business. Um, we're also using this timer to basically debounce our results. Basically, um, with a delay, we essentially fetch our new results, 0 0.2. And the reason we do this is so we don't accidentally pass uh, or make multiple concurrent calls to get the same additional search results. So let me give this a big um, build and run one more time. And let's see if we can see the spinner when we get to the bottom. Okay, so I see the problem. So essentially what we, the problem is, and I guess it's kind of hard to know what it is if you know you haven't done this a bunch of times, but if you look very carefully at the bottom of the screen, when I get to the bottom, there's no spinner. But if I pull up a little bit, it, it shows up. So my guess is, uh, or my hunch is what the problem is, is that this 120 that we're using as, hey, you gotta be 120 from the bottom, is a little too uh, conservative. What we want this to do uh, be is a little bigger so we can start showing that spinner a little more opportunistically. So as I scroll down, you, you should see that the spinner is in fact there, um, but we still actually don't see it. And the reason for that is that we show it at the bottom and the scroll kind of stops like right there. So Instead of actually doing that, the other thing that I can go ahead and do is I can say on the table view, hey, scroll to the bottom. So when we say show this load more indicator, perhaps we can say uh, scroll, we can set the scroll position. I think that's a function on here, I'm like 90% sure because uh, this is indeed just a uh, scroll view under the hood. So we can say content offset, that must be a thing that exists, yep. So we're gonna set content offset, and this is going to be our table views content size dot height, and we're gonna animate it down. So let's see why this guy is yelling at me. We're saying set the content offset. We actually need to specify the uh, X and Y. This should be a CG point. I'm not mistaken, and the X we'll just leave at zero. We don't wanna move uh, the horizontal pan at all of the scroll view. What we care about is the Y, AKA vertical. So let me come back here and we're gonna to scroll to the bottom. And if you look at that, it kinda of showed up and it also scrolls nicely down there. Um, so actually we probably don't even need the 200. Let's see if I can get away with this, making this 120. 
So let's come back here. We'll scroll down and boom, it showed up and it started loading more and it also scrolled uh, like physically this table view down. The reason we don't see more results is let's not forget to uncomment uh, our actual view model fetch additional results function here. And we will go down and double check this. We get to the bottom. Ah, that's a little weird. Okay, so what, it loads more results and it's a little too fast, so we don't actually even see the spinner anymore. Okay, so that's a problem. Um, let's see how we can remedy that. So we're particularly saying here, do this on the main thread. We're dispatching async. So do we actually even need to do this on main because this timer is already being scheduled on scroll view did scroll. So that's already on the main queue. So my hunch here is that perhaps because we're dispatching that as another async piece of work, that the way that the queue is managing the tasks, it's being managed a little wonky. Okay, so in this case, we see the spinner, but no more results. So maybe I can actually delay this view model fetch more results by a smidge. So here we'll say dispatch queue main and we'll say async after now plus like 0 0.1 seconds. Maybe that'll be enough time to visually see the spinner. And this is one of those cases where you kind of have to make a trade off between do you want to see the spinner or do you want uh, do you want the results to just load in super duper quick? So um, I think what I'm going to opt for is to get rid of this automatic scroll down thing that we did because it's a little janky, if I don't say so myself. Um, and let's see what this looks like. And we might just leave it like this because we have validated it's not an issue. Um, it's more of like a trade off, right? Okay, so I load, I scroll down and we have our spinner showing. It's just loading in incredibly fast. Hence, we don't see it. And... I don't think that's a problem. So I guess we'll leave it at that. I might actually even get rid of this dispatch uh, async with a wait because it's just artificially making the loading times longer, which I'm not really a gigantic fan of. Um, before we wrap up the video, let's see if I can just clean up some of the code in here. I like to add these marks just to visually separate out uh, our code with our extension conformances for protocols, definitely not required, but my OCD uh, gets a nice cushion if I do do that. So here we have our protocol, which is fine. Ideally, you should add doc strings. You can actually hold a command option and hit the backslash. And what you'll get is the kind of autocomplete for doc string. So here this is interface to relay location view events. I'm not gonna sit here and bore everyone through actually watching me document all this. So that is all I've got for this video. I'm gonna do a skim of the whole project to see if there's anything critical in the development that we've missed. Not to worry, we're gonna have another series for unit testing this whole project. So uh, stay tuned for that. Drop a like before you click away. Hit subscribe, share the channel and series if you haven't done so already. Appreciate y'all watching and I will see you in the next one.